Tibetan Mastiff. The heavily built Tibetan Mastiff is an ancient breed of working dogs. The breed's origins are not clear, but archaeological and genetic studies point to its presence in Tibet well before Christ. Used as herding and guarding dogs by the nomadic herdsmen of the Himalayas ensured the dogs spread across China and North India. The dogs also accompanied the Huns and the Mongols to Central Asia. Being spread across the high mountains of the region led to development in relatively isolated pockets, resulting in a wide range of dogs mostly bred for hardiness, guarding ability, and obedience. Despite this spread, the breed is believed to have remained unknown in Europe till the mid-1800s, when the Viceroy of India sent a large dog as a gift to Queen Victoria. By early 1900s, Tibetan dogs were being exhibited in dog shows in London, but import to Europe and the US remained very low. Breeding programs in the US began in earnest only in the 1970s with fresh stock from Nepal and India. Time for some rough trivia. The annual molt of the Tibetan Mastiff, when it blows its undercoat out, typically takes place during which of these periods? A. April to July B. August to November or C. December to March What do you think? Give it your best guess in the comments below before we get to the answer. Hang on tight and we'll get back to this rough trivia question toward the end of the video. The Tibetan Mastiff is a large and agile dog with a solemn appearance. Some breeders differentiate between the monastery type and the nomad type, both of which are born in the same litter. The monastery type is more heavily boned and used for stationary jobs, while the nomad type is used for mobile functions like herding. Males can reach heights of up to 33 inches and weight of 100 to 160 pounds. Females are slightly shorter and lighter. It has moderately long, thick, coarse upper coat and soft undercoat. Neck and shoulders are heavily coated, giving a mane-like appearance. Colors seen are solid black, black and tan, bluish gray, and shades of red, often with markings. Grooming The Tibetan Mastiff does not shed heavily but has one great molt in a year. For most of the year, a brush once or twice a week and an occasional bath should keep the coat clean. Regular trimming of nails, cleaning of ears, and brushing of teeth are necessary. Environment its long use as a guard dog has turned the Tibetan Mastiff into an independent, strong-willed, territorial, and an almost aloof dog. It is very devoted and good with families, as long as the family does not expect a needy dog frolicking all the time. The Tibetan is generally friendly with other animals and suspicious of strangers. The dog is not suited for apartment living as it needs a fenced-in area to roam freely for some time. Training for a stubborn and independent-minded dog like the Tibetan Mastiff, early socialization and obedience training in a consistent manner is highly recommended. Training for shows can be difficult in many cases. A long daily walk and access to an outdoor space are needed. Confinement, even in large rooms, can make the dog frustrated. The dog is not suited for warm climates. Health the life expectancy of a Tibetan Mastiff is 11 to 14 years. It is a generally healthy breed, but some issues that may occur are hypothyroidism, entropion, ectropion, some skin problems, autoimmune problems, Addison's disease, Cushing's disease, cardiac problems, cataract, and epilepsy. An independent and intelligent breed, the Tibetan Mastiff is like a benevolent old uncle keeping a watchful eye over the family. It might not join you in every game you get into, but you can rest assured in the knowledge that it loves you and will be around to protect you and your family. Find out if the Tibetan Mastiff would be a good addition to your home. Now you can visit brooklynscorner.com to take our quiz and find out which dog would be the best match for you. Let's get back to the answer to our rough trivia question. The annual molt is done by the Tibetan Mastiff to remove a layer of the coat when the weather is warm. This would be between April and July every year. That does it for the Tibetan Mastiff. If you enjoyed this Dog Facts 101 video, be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.